May Obsession. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am gonna do my May things that I'm absolutely obsessed with video. Now it's funny, when I was setting up to do this video, I was like, ooh, should I do, should I do makeup? Should I do skincare? No, it's just gonna be literally things that I've been obsessed with and they're gonna range from like, yeah, there's a little bit of beauty in there. There's some like stuff for Patrick. So this is my May obsessions. So the first thing on that list, let's just keep it cliche. Let's start with beauty stuff because that's what most people do. If you've been around from the very beginning, which thank you so much to all of you who have, I said in one of my first videos that like, I don't wear lipstick. I'm not a lipstick girl. But I have changed my ways. I've started wearing lipstick and you guys, it's called Double the Lip by Benefit. Basically what it is, is it's a lipstick and a lip liner in one. You just kind of put it on and then you got like your lip liner and your lipstick um, going on at the same time. And this color that I've gotten, because again, like I'm not a big lipstick person, so I had to kind of like ease into it, is um, Nude Scandal, it's called. And it's just a really nice neutral color. So I like highly, highly recommend this. The next thing is, this is like every makeup artist's secret weapon and like best kept secret. You don't have to spend a ton of money for your mascara, y'all. Maybelline Great Lash. I think it was like five pounds, something stupid, but it is like the thickest, most amazing mascara. It's cheap. I used to wear Bobbi Brown mascara and yeah, it's amazing, but I was paying tons of money for it. And let me tell you, when Andy gets home at night, he doesn't go, oh, you're wearing the Bobbi Brown mascara tonight. No, it needs to be black. It needs to make my lashes look a lot longer and that's all you need. So I'm obsessed with this um, Maybelline Great Lash, super cheap and works really, really well. See? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Next, and oh my gosh, don't make fun of me all. Don't make fun of me, okay. I ran out of moisturizer for my skin, like um, like a prep pre-makeup. I'm not like a crazy makeup artist, so I don't do like the primer and all that kind of stuff. I'm like moisturize and then let's get in there and get some kind of face going. Um, but I ran out of moisturizer. And so I went in the medicine cabinet and I found, don't make fun of me, my husband's moisturizer, okay? Nivea Men moisturizer. What would be the difference in a, man, a man's moisturizer and a woman's moisturizer? Like, do they throw testosterone in there? Do they throw a bit of beer in? So I was like, I'm just gonna give it a try. I need some moisturizer. Y'all, it's amazing, it's amazing. And basically, I've put off buying moisturizer another few weeks and I've been using my husband's. He's not happy about it. And this is a bit of like free advice. You don't have to go out and run out and buy men's moisturizer from Nivea, but all I'm saying is, if you run out of moisturizer, get creative, get creative. Go look in the medicine cabinet, and if your husband moisturizes, which do men moisturize? News to me. I think it must be something around shaving. But um, get your get your man's moisturizer and lather that stuff on. It works great. I've been using it for a while. Obsessed. Right, that's it for beauty for me. <laughs> uh, let's move on to something for Patrick that I'm absolutely obsessed with. There's tons of books that I love, but I'm gonna focus on one this month because it's my all-time favorite. It's called The Day the Crayons Quit. It's about this little boy, Duncan, and basically all of his crayons are protesting. They're not happy for one reason or another. So for example, you've got like beige. Beige is being called light brown or dark tan and he's not pleased because he says, I'm actually beige. And he basically says, I'm quitting, Duncan. I don't wanna work for you anymore as a crayon. And all of them have their own little grievances. Yellow is upset because it's in an argument with orange over who is the correct color for the sun. It's just really cute and cleverly written. It's one of those books that like you don't wanna like poke your eyes out reading over and over and over every night. You actually are entertained reading it. So I highly recommend The Day the Crayons Quit um, by Drew Daywalt with illustrations by Oliver Jeffers. Absolutely fantastic book. Next is a culinary theme. McVitie's has come out with digestive thins. And the reason I love these is because you're not eating like a whole fat digestive. So you're only getting like a lighter option. You're not getting quite the calories. There is a catch. You're gonna love them so much, you're gonna eat like 10 of them and you're kind of back to square one, but that's not the point. So if you're in the United States, I don't even know if you can get digestives. You probably can get them, right? Like you can get them in the international food aisle. Digestives are basically, they're cookies. They're like, they're like the consistency of like a chips of whey like a crunch factor, but they're so much nicer. I love that um, they have like a cappuccino flavor and they have dark chocolate. Patrick likes these. If you are giving chocolate to your kids, use dark chocolate. It's higher in antioxidants. It's not that bad for you. I, I think I think it's okay for kids to have chocolate every now and then, especially if it's the dark nature and it's got a little bit of good stuff in it. 
right? Nothing wrong with chocolate. Eat the chocolate. And the other obsession, um, I made a video about it, is lemon spaghetti. Again, I'll link it below. Obsessed. So good. And may I've been having it a lot because my husband's last day at his job is actually today before we moved to Zurich. And he's been out in London for leaving drinks and I've been gorging on lemon spaghetti and it's the best thing ever. So there's that. And then the last thing I'm obsessed with, the TV show called RuPaul's Drag Race. Y'all, if you've never seen RuPaul's Drag Race, it's basically if um, you imagine Project Runway and America's Next Top Model, if they had a baby and the competitors were drag queens. I just really admire the craft of men, these men transforming themselves into beautiful women. Like I love a drag queen makeup tutorial. I love how they are so knowledgeable in like the ways of like fashion and fashion history. And the show is so, so good. So right now season nine is on and I'm absolutely obsessed. If, if you are remotely curious, check out RuPaul's Drag Race. In the UK, you can get it on Netflix. In the US, it's on VH1, but I imagine maybe you can get it on Netflix over there. I don't know, but definitely check it out. It is so worth the watch. It's so entertaining. Absolutely. Love, 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 love. And finally, the last thing in May that I'm absolutely, absolutely obsessed with is all of you. Mwah, 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 mwah. The growth of my channel in May. I'm so, so happy with where things are going. I'm absolutely addicted to this. I love it. I love engaging with all of you guys. I am so, so appreciative. We started May with 12 members of our tribe and now we have grown to 115 strong. I am so excited you guys are here. That's it for today, guys. If you are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe below. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, guys. Bye. Basically, yeah, it's not going to show up, is it? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 it's not working at all. I will draw on you. <laughs> I, I don't get anything for free. I gotta pay for everything. <laughs> I have to say, if you're giving chocolate to your kids, oh, tractor break, look at that tractor. Get, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Get crafty, get thrifty, that's not the right word. Okay, that's showing up because it's this wow pink color. And it was all drag queens. There's somebody walking through our yard. It makes my cheeks look contour make you look like a Vogue model.